Uh, Bishop, uh, as a former Jesuit, tell me uh, your thoughts on Georgetown, the preeminent Catholic university, inviting Kathleen Sibelius to speak at a commencement ceremony there. This was announced last week at a moment when the bishop's conference are at loggerheads with the administration and Kathleen Sibelius particularly over this HHS mandate. And she is a Roman Catholic. Your thoughts? Yes, well, if I were the president of Georgetown University, and I don't think that would ever be part of God's plan, but if I were, I would never have moved in a direction like that myself. Mm -hmm. Because, again, we're teaching the people by what we do the opposite of what we say. And our Catholic identity cannot be effectively communicated in that way. Mm -hmm. We have to get involved and act in accord with what we teach. We have to be witnesses, as Pope Paul VI always used to say, witnesses and not just teachers. Mm. So the identity of a Catholic university requires of us that we teach the teaching of the church lovingly. We propose, we don't impose. We teach it lovingly, but in a very consistent and, way, and clear way. Mm -hmm. It's very important that Catholic schools do that. And uh, I'm afraid too many of them have strayed from that direction. And I think our Holy Father wanted to tell us all as American bishops mm -hmm. that we should focus on that particular concern in the church because he also said the formation of young people in that Ad Limina address, right. the formation of young people is the top internal priority of the church in the United States, and I embrace that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder, uh, Bishop Marlene, Molino, your thoughts on what we're hearing from, again, another Catholic, uh, the Vice President Joe Biden this week opened, really, the floodgates on Sunday about this whole issue of gay marriage. He came out in support of it. Then the president came out. Uh, the president even invoked Jesus. Uh, your thoughts on what that means and isn't that telegraphing an inconsistent message, having a Roman Catholic advertising himself as such, yet uh, teaching something that's opposed to the church and supporting something opposed to the church teaching? Well, at the face of it, it looks very, very, it looks to be a very saddening thing about Vice President Biden that he would do that. Of course, I don't have the opportunity ever to speak with Vice President Biden. I don't know exactly what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. So before I would speak too strongly about him personally, I would need to know a little bit more about what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I, I would withhold comment. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what he has objectively done as a Catholic, he seems again to be entering the turf of Catholic theology. He seems to be giving a, a, a message quite opposite to the church's teaching authority, to the church's magisterium. And it would seem that such approaches cannot go on forever. But there are others who have the responsibility to listen to him carefully, to care for his soul and for his eternal good. And final judgments about those matters really need to be left to them. Mm -hmm. uh, you are the bishop of Representative Paul Ryan, who was on this show a few weeks ago and has been at the very center of so much discussion in that he has put forward a budget that the bishop's conference continually uh, has, has uh, criticized. In fact, as recently as May 8th, uh, Bishop Blair wrote a letter suggesting that this budget uh, would disproportionately cut essential services to poor people and that somehow it's unjust. As Paul Ryan's bishop, you would say what? He claims this is a prudential judgment, best left to the laity. Well, uh, Paul Ryan does stay in touch with me about such things. Mm -hmm. I consider him a fine Catholic gentleman. And I would just say that he knows what the lay mission in the church is. He understands it. And he understands that there is room for prudential judgments. And I trust him as a leader, a lay leader, in, the, in doing the lay mission. I trust him to make his own judgments in a very sound way. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I don't think that he really needs any particular affirmation from me. He is a very responsible lay Catholic who understands lay mission and who makes his judgment very much in accord with all the teachings of the church. Mm -hmm. And he knows how to do that. That's what I would say. 